Hello, I'm J.T. Frazier, and I'm here to tell you about a brand new product that's going to turn the fishing world upside down and convert fishermen into catchmen. After all, we don't like to fish. We like to catch fish, right? Well, with Catcherman Fish Hypnotizer, you'll be catching them like crazy in no time at all. The fish hypnotizer was invented by L.E. Fowler, a friend of mine from East Texas who loves to fish. L.E. has spent over 50 years on lakes all over this country working on ways to make fishing more fun and productive. He's known all around Texas and Louisiana for his hand-carved, hand-painted, and hand-assembled lures that fish just can't resist. Frustrated fishermen pay L.E. up to $250 just to get their hands on one of his custom lures. And there are even reports that some of the top money fishermen in America secretly use L.E.'s custom-made lures to win big. So with all this success in figuring out ways to get fish to practically wave the white flag of surrender, when he drops a line in the water, you'd think he'd be satisfied and just sit back and enjoy the sport, wouldn't you? But you know L.E., he's just like you and me. He can't rest until he tops his latest success. Well, we think he's accomplished his ultimate goal. He's designed a device that literally mimics the Pied Piper of Hamlin and its ability to put fish in a trance and broadcast a beacon to your bait. The fish hypnotizer is not a lure, but a fish attractor. When in the water and being trolled slowly behind your boat, the patented design sets up a waving motion that rattles the weight on the bottom and reflects light similar to the way an emergency beacon flashes on a police car. And fish see that and they have to go and investigate. And then of course you've got your bait pulling behind it. And then when they're, it's pulling through there, the fish come to investigate it, the bait comes through and they're naturally going to bite it. When they do, look what happens next. This is how unique this is. The thing becomes a water sled. It pops, it becomes a water sled, bringing the big one right to the top. So now all that's left for you to do, it's attracted them, it's got them on the hook for you. Now all you've got to do is just net him. Quite an incredible device, isn't it? In fact, you heard me say that the fish hypnotizer is so unique, so different than anything you've ever tried or is in your tackle box now that the hypnotizer received a U.S. patent. Friends, there's simply nothing else like it in the world. Let me tell you a story about something that happened a while back that changed the course of our company. While I was having dinner with a friend of mine in Tennessee, I started telling him about a fishing trip that L.E. had taken me on near her home in Longview, Texas. I told him why we were trying to see just how far we could push the hypnotizer by going in the middle of the day to a lake where the water level was so low we had a hard time getting the boat launched. The water temperature that day was 97 degrees. The air temperature was over 100 and the oxygen level in the lake was so low that we saw several fish floating on top. Now to top it all off, we were there smack dab in the middle of the day, the worst possible time to fish. We spent two and a half hours in that lake and all we had to show for it was 77 fish. You heard me right, during the worst part of the day between 11 and 2, with water temperature approaching 100, the lake level low and calm, we hauled in 77 fish using the hypnotizer. I'm not a fisherman, so that was more fish than I'd caught in my entire life, and it happened in just over two hours. Well, I told my friend that he just had to come to Texas and go fishing with me in L.E. and witness this incredible device for himself. He said he had given up fishing a long time ago because he got tired of spending a lot of time and money and coming home empty-handed. He admitted the hypnotizer did have his curiosity up, but then threw down a challenge that would change the course of our business. You see, my friend has spent over 40 years in the advertising and marketing field, and he was one tough sale because he said he had seen it all and heard it all. And how did he know this wasn't just another fish story? He also said that he'd built his reputation on promoting only products that exceeded the advertised value. And at this stage of his career, he had no intentions of putting his efforts behind something that didn't work. Measure up and then some. He said, well, if this thing was even half as good as I said it was, then he'd help us get the message out to fishermen all over America. But if the product challenge was a bust, he didn't want to hear any more about it. He said he'd believe me when I told him the success L.E. and I had with it on lakes. But L.E. fished all the time, and he wanted to see it work 
on a lake neither of us had fished or even heard of before before he'd get behind it. I'll admit the idea was intriguing, but for a moment I wondered to myself if it was such a good idea. What if it didn't work as good as it did down there? What if L.E. came here and the thing was a total flop? I told him I'd see if L.E. was interested. After all, L.E. is 77 years old and coming 600 miles just to show some volunteer state skeptic that the hypnotizer did what he said it would might not appeal to him. After a brief conversation with L.E., though, he accepted the challenge and would load up his pickup and head to Nashville to show this doubting Tennessee and Thomas a thing or two about catching fish. After all, Texans don't like people messing with them. The morning of the trip was perfect. Clear skies, temperatures in the 80s, and anticipations running high. The chosen lake was J. Percy Priest, just west of Nashville International Airport at I-40 East. Ellie and Bob sped to some of the places where Bob thought they might have some luck. Bob warned Ellie that since the big flood in May, fishing on Percy Priest had been dismal. He didn't know why, but he had had many frustrating days cranking in vain and maybe snagging two or three 15 inches, but warned that they shouldn't expect much today. Once Ellie instructed Bob on how to rig his line and how far to extend it into the water, the challenge began. Within four minutes, Ellie hung the first catch. Three minutes later, the second fish grabbed Bob's line. Within the first 20 minutes, they already had caught more fish than Bob usually catches all day long. So, so far, so good. It was the fourth catch that got everybody excited, though. Ellie said he'd either hung up on the bottom or he had a big one on the line. After a few seconds, it was obvious Ellie had snagged a big one. Finally, the trophy was in plain sight as Bob grabbed the net to sack the first big catch of the morning. It was just 10, 15 a.m. Well, that scenario played out the rest of the day as they continued to catch fish in a lake where Bob said they weren't biting. I guess nobody told the fish because when they finally decided to pack it up and call it a day, they had caught 34 fish of several varieties, including stripe, rockfish, small and largemouth bass, and a few others. 34 fish. Bob said it was a very good day for him. In fact, he said it was the best fishing day he'd ever had on that lake. As for L.E., well, he said in a matter-of-fact way that they'd only caught 34 fish was a disappointment to him, and he considered the day kindly the failure. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, friends, I guess when you're used to catching 77 fish in two and a half hours, spending the better part of the day catching only 34 did seem like kind of a failure. How about you? Would you be disappointed if you were fishing and only caught 34 fish? Well, I can tell you right now, I'd be thrilled to do that every time I win. And as I said earlier, I am not a fisherman. But that's the beauty of the hypnotizer. You don't have to be a fisherman. All you have to do is be able to count to 20 and presto, you're a fisherman. Can you imagine how much fun you'd have when you set sail for your favorite lake? Or think about the thrill your grandchildren or even your wife or girlfriend will have when they start catching one fish after another. And that's the best part, using the hypnotizer as easy as counting to 20.